Hey, it's Kurt. Welcome to my kitchen again. Today I am reviewing something that's very small, yet very powerful and excruciatingly painful to a lot of people. It's a very small piece of tech that you do use in the kitchen. What I'm talking about is the food scale. And so many people do not like the food scale and I'm one of them and I have problems with this and I'm here fully to admit it. If you're trying to stick to an eating plan or a diet, you've got to weigh your food. There's just no way around it. And at first it's really, really tough to do because you gotta get the scale out, you gotta put the food on the scale, you gotta wash the scale. But I'm here to say that it's time to change our ways and start weighing our food. Today we're gonna to be reviewing one of Amazon's top selling food scales. It's an official Amazon's choice and it's called the Nice Well Food Scale. But before we move on, can I ask you a favor? Can you gently touch that like button down there? What happens when you hit the like button is it pushes my video out to other YouTube users who don't know about my channel. So it really helped me a lot. I appreciate it. Okay, enough of that. Let's get on to the unboxing. A lot of things that I didn't realize was how much food I was putting in my body lately. I was kind of feeling a little bit bloated, a little bit sloth-like, and I thought, you know, it's time for me to do a reset with my body and just make sure that I'm taking in the right amount of food so I don't bulk up, if you know what I mean. The other night I was making salmon and I took out a filet, flopped it on the food scale that I'd just gotten. I thought I had about six ounces of salmon on there. It turns out I had 10.2 ounces of salmon. Now the protein difference and the fat difference between 10.2 ounces of salmon and six ounces of salmon is dramatic, almost twice as much. So that got me thinking. I was making a cauliflower pizza with some cauliflower pizza crust I had. I usually get the cheese out, cut the cheese, get some pepperoni, throw it on there. And what did I realize? I had prepped twice as much cheese as I needed to hit my eating plan. So I'd been doing that for a few months and not paying attention and I was not reaching my goals. I was getting frustrated and that's when it hit me. I had been eating almost twice as much food as I thought I was. What I liked about the nice little scale right away is that it was digital. I know it sounds funny, but I'd been using an old fashioned plastic scale for a long time and it just simply broke. So to have a digital scale that had readouts in ounces and grams was amazing. Another thing great about the product was they included batteries in the packaging so you could just put the batteries right in. You don't have to go to the store and buy batteries, which I often do. They also have a tear button feature. And what that is, is you can put a plate down on the scale, press tear, it zeroes it out. And then you can put the ingredients that you want inside your plate and it'll remeasure from zero from there. It's really nice because you don't have to constantly put food on the scale directly. You can put it in a plate or a pan and this way you don't have to wash the scale constantly and worry about getting water on it or in its electric components. This Nicewell digital food scale had amazing, amazing reviews on Amazon. It actually was a five star review which you don't find often so I had to give it a try. The price is good too, it's $27.99. I thought that was a pretty fair price. What I have found to be the best way to be successful in any kind of eating plan or diet is to couple this scale with some sort of app on your phone or iPad where you can actually see how much food you're taking in every day. The next thing you have to do is actually follow it and input everything and it gets easier and easier over time. I'm currently testing the MyFitnessPal app for nutrition to see how that works out. I used the free version for a few days and then I upgraded to premium for a free month's trial to see how that works out. I'm sure you can use the free version. You just get a lot of ads popping up here and there. And if you don't mind that, you'll be totally happy with it. Also, if you're looking for eating programs, there is a guy named Magnus on YouTube. He trains all these celebrities for their movies like Alexander Skarsgård for the Tarzan movie, Alicia Vikander, I don't know if I have her name right or not for Laura Croft, Tomb Raider, Gal Gadot for Wonder Woman. 
and many other stars. But the thing I like about Magnus is he's very realistic. He understands that you're not a celebrity training for a movie. And by the way, the celebrities, they don't train that way the whole year. They just do it for like three or four months, shoot the movie, and then they go back to their normal diets because they're so extreme. But he actually has a diet and nutrition plan that's more normal. It's not easy, but it's more normal. And I'm thinking about switching up my current nutrition plan just to match his to see how it works out. But remember, there's tons of other stuff online out there. You don't need a celebrity trainer. You can get it from online books. You can actually get it from your local nutritionist, although I know that's really hard right now because of the illness. Whatever you can do, there's tons of good information out there. And like I said, it doesn't have to be some crazy celebrity trainer who's super famous. It's just that I, I like this guy's personality. He's very kicked back. He's a Swedish dude. He's been doing it for a long time and that's what I kind of resonate with. Let's get to the pros and cons of this product. What are good and what are bad? Pros, simple to set up. Can learn how scale works in about 15 minutes. It was really easy. Small enough to store easily. Can measure in grams, kilograms, milligrams, pounds, ounces, and fluid ounces. Helpful tear feature. Can measure as little as 0.1 ounce to as much as 22 pounds. Very accurate. Here are the cons can't rinse it off in the sink. And that leaves the second one a bit of a pain to clean. You have to use kind of a wet cloth or a sponge and make sure you don't get too much water on it. It's very delicate and I'm not sure how long it will last. Next, let's get to the rating system where I do price, performance, and staying power. First is price. It's a good value at $27.99. Even if the scale only lasted a year, it would only cost about $2.33 a month. If the scale lasted two years, it would only cost $1.17 a month. So for price, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Second is performance. I used it for a week and it worked well. I was able to find a place to easily store it because of its compact size. Although I do need to do a long-term review, maybe in six months to see how it holds up. So for performance, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. And finally, staying power. How long will I stay with this product? Is it a one-off or am I gonna use it over and over again? I see myself using this every day. Since I watch what I eat, I see myself using it until it stops working. And as a nice side note, this will probably improve my cooking as well. So for staying power, I'll give it a nine out of 10. So here's the final tally. Price, nine. Performance, eight. Staying power, nine. That gives it an overall score of 8.7. So I'm gonna end this video here. Thanks again for watching my video. If you can do me a favor, hit the like button if you're liking these videos and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be notified of my future videos. Also, you can follow me at KurtFitFi on Instagram. I'll see you on the next one.